It is time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment. I'm joined by Catalina Marchandiabra. Welcome to the programme, Catalina. Um, we were talking about the Poland missile streak, well, most of, most, most of this week, in fact. Uh, just tell us a little bit more about what more we know about that uh, missile strike. Lots of back and forth from President Zelensky this week uh, following the, pol uh, the missile strike in Poland that killed two people on Tuesday. His most recent statements, he says that he's not... 100% sure of what happened in uh, Poland. Uh, so what we know uh, so far about the missile that hit Poland on uh, Tuesday at the moment, we don't have the evidence that the Polish authorities have. Uh, what we do know for now is that the remains that were found at the site of the explosion belong to an S-300 missile uh, that we see in the images right here, uh, posted by Ukraine a weapons a tracker on a Twitter. Uh, so both Russia and Ukraine uh, possess this missile system, uh, which earliest versions were developed in the Soviet Union, which uh, contributes to this whole confusion. Uh, however, both NATO and Polish officials affirmed that this was a Ukrainian uh, air defense missile that had most likely caused uh, this uh, deadly explosion in Poland. Tom. Okay, and now some viral images appear to be circulating online. Uh, they don't have anything to do with this uh, Poland explosion at all. Tell us a bit more about them. Now, in the midst of it all, uh, there's these images circulating on it, Twitter with over 1,000 retweets on a line, allegedly photos of this wreckage that fell in Poland, uh, believed to be S-300 missiles, anti-aircraft uh, missiles that Ukraine uses to protect uh, its airspace, as this Twitter user points out. So the content in this tweet is correct, as we just explained. Uh, what interests us are these photos uh, that we see right here to the left and the right, allegedly debris from this explosion. Uh, so this photo right here that we see to the right, uh, this image is indeed from the debris of the explosion on Wednesday. Uh, the same photo that we see in news reports, uh, in fact, here's the same image on Reuters and this uh, photograph right here. Uh, this photo was actually obtained uh, by Reuters on November 16th in this uh, Polish uh, village. Uh, so these are real images. This image right here, if you see them, real images of the remains of this explosion in uh, Poland. Uh, then the photo that we see uh, right here to the left uh, that uh, allegedly shows uh, uh, the wreckage left of this explosion. If you see this photo right here circulating on social media, this photo does not belong to the current uh, Ukraine-Russia-Poland uh, conflict uh, right now. Uh, these missiles were actually from the year uh, 2020. Uh, information obtained right here by our fact-checking colleagues at Vaminut. Uh, these missile remains were actually found in the Caucasus uh, Mountains in uh, uh, Dagestan, which is a republic of uh, Russia along the Caspian Sea. So Russian media also reported on uh, this explosion at the time uh, in this article dating from October 8th, 2020, uh, where they report on the fall of an unknown uh, projectile uh, found in uh, Dagestan. Uh, so right here, if we scroll down this article right here, uh, we could find the same photo as the ones uh, used in the viral claims on Twitter, debris that was linked at the time to the conflict between Armenia and uh, Azerbaijan. Tom? OK, Catalina, these aren't the only misleading images circulating online, are they, with regards to this uh, Poland missile strike? Uh, we also found these images right here on uh, Twitter, this tweet by the Ukraine-Russia Twitter page uh, that reads the Polish army began to pull armored uh, vehicles to Shardova and also to the border with uh, Russia, implying some sort of escalation in this conflict. And while these vehicles right here, uh, they do belong to the Polish army, these photos are also not recent from this conflict. As you can see uh, uh, right here with this attached news article by Nexta TV, uh, these images belong uh, to when the Polish army moved 4,000 troops uh, from west to east. Uh, in this article from September 8th, uh, 2021. Uh, and here we can also see the same images being shared uh, by the Polish, uh, by the Polish uh, Minister of National Defense on September 5th, 2021. Uh, so images that are actually from 2021 and not the current uh, conflict. So in this moment we have that we have no concrete 
evidence of what happened in this missile strike in Poland. We have to take every information with a pinch of salt, especially on uh, social media. Tom? Catalina Marchand Diabro, thank you very much indeed for Truth or Fake.